Hello, friends, and welcome to another very special episode where I am going to reveal further evidence that immortals do walk among us. Zoinks! If you have not seen my previous episode on this front uh, called Who Really Is Blue Jacket 66, I'm going to try to link to that video right up here for you to check that out. But I am going to bring you further truth that another member of our community is in fact also an immortal that walks among us. You gotta be shitting me. And if you wanna see uh, more about this, please stay tuned. Hello friends, I am John and I am the 3D 80s kid. So Rick at Vintage Oddball Cards asked the community to show their best beater cards. Now, I look at this as I could have gone the lazy route. That would be a waste of time. I mean, I could just be showing you uh, this one here, this 1972 Kellogg's Willie Mays card. There's something missing. It's not all here. That I picked up uh, pretty seriously cracked and paper loss. I uh, bought this one real cheap as a group lot with this uh, giant gunner's card up there. Uh, really, I just wanted to get a feel for what a Kellogg's card actually felt like uh, once I started searching for them uh, to try to get a nicer one that wasn't cracked, uh, just to see uh, what, what the deal is, why they crack so easily, so. So delicate. Uh, I could go the route of showing you uh, my first T205 pickup. Uh, Mr. Fred Clark, who uh, played in the major leagues from 1896 to 1915. That was a long time ago. Uh, first six years, I believe, were with the Louisville Colonels and the remaining with the Pittsburgh Pirates, of which uh, he also managed the team at the same time during those years. Always a leader of men. Um, and, you know, this one, like many T205s, is pretty beat up around the edges. Uh, it's got a crease going right through the card here on both sides but uh, still presents uh, nicely and uh, makes a great addition, even though, uh, you know, technically it really is a beater. Just the same. You know, knowing me, I was not going to go the straightforward and easy pathway on this one. Uh, so what did I do? It's showtime. So, for my big card for this contest, I am actually presenting this one here. Mr. Joe Golding, a 1950 Bowman football card. It looks great. <laughs> and if you look at the back of this, you ask, what are you doing? This card looks to be in great condition. And looks can sometimes be deceiving because... Uh, this card here represents a guy by the name of Joe Golding, who uh, originally went to the University of Oklahoma his first three years there. Sooner. And then we had uh, Pearl Harbor. A day which will live in famously. And this guy enlisted straight away in our infantry in the Army and served in the Army for almost four years of service on his way, earning the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, and a Purple Heart. Incredible. He also earned himself a field commission as an officer uh, and was basically a hero of our country. Great American. Uh, upon the end of the war, he actually returned to Oklahoma for his senior season of football where he captained the team and then was drafted into the early years of the National Football League. He played for the Boston Yanks for two seasons in 47 and 48, 
And then from 49 to 51, he played for the New York Bulldogs, who later changed their team name to the Yanks. It's very creative. And after five seasons in the NFL, he did retire. Um, he, in fact, uh, died early after he moved back to Oklahoma at the young age of 50. Where is that? Or did he? What? 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 Because let me show you the front of this card, which ends up uh, a beater by most definitions and would grade no higher than a one because at some point it was taped down into possibly someone's scrapbook or notebook and has the residue of 1950s era tape in both top corners and right here. There's Joe Golding. And now you'll see up here on your screen, who is that an exact duplicate of? None other than our very own Rick of Vintage Oddball Cards. So is this, in fact, Rick in his previous identity? And at the age of 50, for Joe Golding, abandoned that life and moved on to the one we now know as Rick of Vintage Oddball Cards? This seems like the evidence we need to unveil this story. I don't know. You make up your minds, people. I think this is fairly definitive proof of what we have here, which this conspiracy here seems to go deeper and deeper as I uncover more members of our YouTube sports card community that appear to be immortals. A uh, special thanks in this case to Picker Gem S who pointed this card out to me. And here we go. Proof. Thanks, Rick, for offering this contest out to the community with an extremely generous prize. Thanks, Rick. Uh, and thank you, Picker Gem S, once again, for uh, pointing me towards that card. Thanks, Jim. Uh, this was a fun video to make, and thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you next time. Well, see you next time.